Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economic events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody guys, let's take a look again in the coal market. So the fundamental background for the coal market mostly the same as for the uh, any other markets and the forex market as well. So if you yesterday have watched our video dedicated to the euro currency, well now I will not tell you something really new on the fundamental background. So the gold market is following the same common tendency, whereas we have two well major driving factors. First is the leadership gap of the Joe Biden over the Donald Trump. And second is expectation of the new stimulus pack that should fall sooner or later. Because there was uh, there were really uh, mixed comments uh, within the recent week concerning the, the, the uh, stimulus. So it has started right on Tuesday when the Donald Trump said to stop any conversation about the stimulus pack till the elections and has made temporal negative effect or support in the United States dollar and other markets was reacted by the collapse on the statement. But then uh, the new information has come that uh, the negotiations was continuing and uh, by the end of the week, uh, Ms. Pelosi said that despite that they have not reached the agreement, the talkings will continue. That was the result of the previous week. Uh, common sense tells that it should be negative reaction in the market because no stimulus has been provided and talkings already stand for months or even lo longer. Even when the Jerome Powell said that uh, the Congress should provide the stimulus as fast as possible because any postponing uh, the providing of this help could make the negative impact on the economy and the economy could turn to the down spiral. Uh, that is what he said on Thursday. Even despite these comments, the, any, no stimulus back has been provided. But somehow, markets have treated this statement as a positive. And it's very difficult to make markets to change their mind if they would like to be uh, positive and would like to see the positive even if overall comments are natural or even negative. So uh, it's, it's, it's just impossible. So markets would like to be positive. Uh, all that we could do in the current circumstances just, uh, well, just hope that this uh, exciting, or better to say overexciting, the euphoria of the markets will last as long as possible, let us to use it now uh, to, to make the trades on the market. So that's very important. Uh, second important moment uh, on, on, the, on the gold is that Mr. Evans, the, the president of the Chicago uh, Federal Reserve Bank, said that he expected that inflation will reach 2% level in 2023. And he expects that Fed will do nothing until market will reach 2.5%, not the market, inflation will reach 2.5% level. What does it mean? It means that if Fed will do nothing in this case, the real rates will turn more negative. While, this, while, while Fed will stay on the hold and not, do not apply anything, you know, do not rise in the rate. Uh, that in turn means that gold could rise more with this expectation of starting inflation rising. Because long-term rates right now stands out of the control of the Fed. They will not hold the long part of the yield curve. So that's also positive, but well, it makes mostly sense uh, in the longer term perspective. So that's real fundamental background that we have. In two words speaking, while the Joe Biden increased the cap over the Donald Trump, and uh, while the chances on providing of the stimulus or discussions and hints that it will be providing stands on the table, dollar will become weaker and gold could continue rising. So the reversal of any of these driving factors if Joe Biden will start to lose the cap uh, over Donald Trump, or if Stimulus discussion will totally cancelled for, for some period 
will be supportive to the United States dollar. In this case, we could get, we could get either the pullback on the gold or even a reversal. But currently, it's not the case yet, and uh, technical pictures suggest the upward continuation. So what we have on the daily chart. First of all, recall that in the beginning of the week, this drop was really very significant. It has happened right on Tuesday when Donald Trump said that no discussion in the Congress of the new stimulus pack should follow. That has led to collapse, not only on the gold, but on the stock market as well. Uh, and that was our bearish reversal candle that uh, initially, when it has been formed, has become the central pattern that uh, we intend to use as a background for a possible uh, next trade. But by the end of the week, you can see what has happened. Market totally has erased this candle. It, ha it, rare, uh, it, it happens rare, but, uh, well, as it has happened here, it should mean a lot for short-term perspective on the gold. Situation on the gold market stands positive. In general, the sentiment stands positive. And on the way up, we have the tail closing. Market also on the way up has broken for the 1970 confidence resistance was very strong. And here is returning back in the range of this triangle consolidation, something of that sort. It means that in the very short term, perspective, one, two sessions probably, we should see gold coming to the 1950 level because we have the A, B, C, D patient in place. C, D legs taking the acceleration, so this is a good sign for the upper direction. And the O, P stands for 1951. That's the nearest destination point for the gold. Potentially, market could climb further to the 2000, even somewhere in the area of 1990. XOP stands, but we'll take a look at the bit, uh, on this later when we'll see what will happen around this area. At the first test of this area, I'd suggest the pullback because this is strong confidence resistance, 1935, 1951. It's agreement resistance, and it's logical to suggest that some minor respect to this level should follow. That's two moments that we have on the daily. On intraday charts, take a look. The market also is coming to the resistance 1935, this first level. And on the hourly chart, we have another pattern that points on the same level. This is 127 extension 1934 is the butterfly extension. 1618 stands 1950, it coincides with the uh, ABCD pattern, almost the same as on the euro currency. There we also have the 1618 butterfly on the fault from chart. So what we could mean here? So currently it's very difficult to find reasons to take the long position because market stands too close to the target. And from that standpoint, we could consider if you're a very short term trade or you trade on the hourly chart and lower time frames, you could consider here possible taking the short position. First of all, this is daily resistance in the butterfly and some minor pullback here is possible. Besides, you could keep an eye on the Jordan Napoli patients because this most recent thrust this looks very nice and it could become the background for the double rip of sell, for example. Other traders for a searching chance to go along, you should consider FIB levels, FIB supports. Also, you could plot the FIB levels from the thrusting action as well. But based on this chart, you could see this we have 1908 and uh, 90 area is confidence support. That all these levels will drift slightly higher when the market will hit the 1935, approximately for the five dollars higher. So that will be somewhere around 19, even 1905 area. This will be somewhere around 1913. Well, uh, that's two levels that will keep an eye on the reaction on the resistance butterfly target that should be approximately the 30% pullback, at least 30% the pullback on the first touch. Then theoretically, we should get the upper continuation to 1950, the next major OP target. You should not expect two deep retracements. So more probable is that we will get 30% support here by the two reasons. First of all, we have good thrust here on the daily charts, thrusting action. Second, market hasn't reached the OP. That's why when it stands between, uh, before the target, market very rare shows the deep retracement. So these two factors, that OP is not reached yet and this strong upper direction, lets us think that here's pullback will be probably small. Well, and I think that maybe could be just the 30% on the thrusting action. So, but hardly it will be right to the confluence. Confluence will be important when the market will hit 1950 level. So, that being said, first is reaching 1935, 1934, then the pullback somewhere to the 1910, 1913, and then 
most probable upward continuation in 1950. That's our approximate trading plan for the coming week. So use corresponding patterns that we have, depending on your trading style, where you trade on the daily, on the intraday charts. And, well, let's see uh, what really will happen. Because market currently is very fragile and unstable. It uh, stands in route too dependent on the external news, mostly different rumors and so on. This market is coming uh, to election day, it's becoming not more nervous. And overall, this environment is supportive for the gold market, but we would like to see that the patterns are working because that lets us to take the positions. So let's keep watching on the gold markets. It will be very interesting in the coming week.